with the Muppets not only staging a successful comeback, but winning an Oscar for Best Original Song, and the writers of Rango hard at work on a Fraggle Rock movie, why not Sesame Street? Both delighting and educating children since the 1960s, one can see how Hollywood would be eager to bring Big Bird and Friends to the big screen in an era where family movies dominated the box office. But while the Muppets and even Fraggle Rock to some degree have jokes aimed squarely at adults, Sesame Street has always been just for the little ones. Today's family movies succeed because they are aimed at both kids and adults, but how can you do that with Sesame Street when the number one question on most adults' minds is whether or not Bert and Ernie are gay? There have been two Sesame Street-based movies before, 1985's Follow That Bird and 1995's The Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland, but both were box office flops. That's largely because if adults themselves don't feel they're going to be entertained, they usually don't want to spend that kind of money on such flicks in theaters. But Sean Levy has high hopes for the project, as he's had a lot of success with family movies before, at least at the box office, if not with critics. And like The Muppets, Sesame Street is famous for its celebrity guest stars, so odds are the movie will have plenty of cameos. Sesame Street veteran writer Joey Mazzarino is currently working on the script, which means it'll be in step with the long-running show and not too Hollywoodized. But maybe it needs to be. While it's estimated that one in three Americans has watched Sesame Street, how long ago was that? What would it take to get you to return to Sesame Street for big screen prices? And what can Sesame Street teach their grown-up audience that they don't already know? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.